Today we're going to take this flower and give it a beautiful reflection. Hello and welcome to an Affinity Revolution tutorial. If you'd like to use the same image as me, I've included a download link in the video description. The first thing we need to do to make a reflection of an object is to make a selection of that object. This flower has already been cut out from its background, so all we need to do is hold down Command or Control and then click on the layer with the object on it. As you can see, we now have a selection going around the flower. With our selection made, all we need to do is press Command or Control J, J as in jump, and now we have a duplicate copy of our flower. You can press Command D to deselect the flower, and then we're going to take the Move tool to reposition this flower. The first thing we'll need to do is flip it by right-clicking on it and then selecting Transform Flip Vertical. Now we can drag the flower down so it's underneath the original flower. As you can see, we don't have quite enough space to work with, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit and then press C for my crop tool and drag out some new space for my image. Now I'll select my move tool again and rotate my flower a little bit using this circle down here and continue repositioning it. Now that we've repositioned the flower, we're going to make it look like a reflection by having it slowly disappear. To do this, we first need to apply a mask to this layer. We can apply a mask by pressing on the mask icon down here. It kind of looks like a Japanese flag. And now we can click on the mask layer and apply a gradient to it to make it look like it's slowly disappearing. To apply a gradient, you can press G for your gradient tool and then click and drag to draw out a gradient. Right now, our gradient goes to gray, which only makes the flower partially disappear. So click on the gray circle to make sure it's selected, and then come up here and turn it into black. Now our gradient goes from white to black, making our flower slowly disappear. Right now, our reflection is still a little too strong, so I'm going to click on the flower to have the entire layer selected, and then lower its opacity to 50%. As a finishing touch, I'll give this image a background by selecting the Rectangle tool and then clicking and dragging to draw out a rectangle on top. And then if I drag it to the bottom of the Layers panel, I now have a white background, which I can change by choosing any color from up here. And there you have it. We now have a beautiful reflection. Thanks for watching our reflection tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about Affinity Photo, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We come out with a new video every Saturday. So hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Affinity Revolution tutorial.